Hi guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to never lose your phone again. Now this is done with an application which I really like and it's called Android Lost. You can find it in the Play Store. And let's install it right here. There you go. Once it's installed, you can find it back on your home screen normally. There you go. But it's under a very special icon, mainly it's a notebook with a pencil, personal notes. Why is this? Because if, for example, your phone gets stolen, you don't want the thief to uninstall the app, because that might be a problem. So if, it's, if it would look like Android Lost app, well, he would know to uninstall it so you can't find your phone back. Now this, on the other hand, is something a lot of people will never look at. So once you click that, you can see all the instructions you need to activate Android Lost. It's really simple actually. You have the exit, the request administration rights, and the try premium features. Now, what you have to do for this app to work is press the request administration rights. You press activate, and that's it. Now you can get out and go to www.androidlost.com. And that's what we'll do in a sec. Hi guys, so now that we're at the computer, let's go to androidlost.com. So in your browser, I'm, I'm using Google Chrome. We go to androidlost.com and you see this very simple interface. Now the first thing you should do is sign yourself in, because otherwise it won't work. You have to sign in with the same Google account that you're using on your Android phone. So in this case, it's my normal email address and you allow it there you go and here you go congratulations your email account is now connected to your phone and you can use the controls okay so um, you can go through the features uh, the ones that I think are the best are of course that it can turn on your mobile internet it can turn on your Wi-Fi it can turn on your GPS all by just sending a text message to your number so it's not like it has to be turned on in order to work, which is one of the main faults of other apps, because this app can just send an SMS. If you go to the SMS commands, you can see what commands you can send, and they allow you to, well, available SMS commands. Let's uh, go through a few of these. So, before you start sending SMSs, text messages, you should allow a text message in this little um, box over here. You should write the number, and if you want to add m multiple numbers, for example, if you have many friends who could help you out in a ditch, if something happens to your phone, you have to write your number, separate the other numbers with a comma, and press allow, and that's how easy it is. Now, you can also... Um, assign an SMS pin code so if something happens and one of your friends can't send an, a text message or isn't in the allow list you can always ask them to enter the pin code right after Android lost for example Android lost 12345 alarm 5 that's actually saying I have the pin code to send an Android lost message so let's do that right now so on your phone you just compose a new text message to the number that is assigned to your phone so in my case it's my mobile number and you write Android lost message for example to send a message to appear on the screen of the person who found your phone um, and then what you want to write so for example return my phone please and you, you press send and in a second the phone will have a message appearing return my phone please as you can see there you go you have the message let's get out of this screen real quickly and that's how easy it is um, now let's say that let's say that our mobile data is turned off or no more importantly yeah mobile data and you want to turn that on so that you can access your mobile data well so it can receive messages or receive whatever then you just have to write again 
Android lost data start now before sending it I'm just going to show you that I turned it off so as you can see it's turned off let's send the message there you go and now any minute now it should pop up there you go I got a text message and what happens is if I go to my mobile data it's turned on which is really great because that way you'll never have problems if your GPS isn't on, turned on because you want to like save battery or whatever and that's really useful you can also wipe your phone this way uh, so that your thief won't be able to do anything with it you can lock it which is also pretty cool let's send a lock message so what we type in then as a new message is Android lost lock and then a pin code for example one two three four and now it will log the phone and the only way to unlock it is if you know the pin code there you go so now when I want to unlock it it'll ask a pin code which we determined in the message was one two three four and okay enter there you go unlocked now to change that pin code again you have to um, send a message Android unlock which unlocks phone so that's why this is really one of the most interesting um, apps out there forever if you ever get your phone lost um, it can read your text messages it can remote control your alarm you can send pings to your phone so you can know where it is like if we go to controls here you go you have a few um, options like for example the status or location which also allows you to automatically switch on the GPS if it's deactivated so let's send location and normally we'll know where the location is in a couple of minutes um, other things you can do is send messages or read your messages um, you have the security options which are quite the same as the SMS uh, options which require a second phone here you don't need it you just have to go to Android lost you can back up your phone um, it's really a great application and I suggest everyone install it if you have an Android phone because you never know what might happen and there you go this is what pops up which is pretty accurate because that's where I am and um, it tells you where your phone is you can do that as many times as you want so you know if the person is walking driving or just standing still and well the rest is up to you what you do with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it if you did please like and subscribe it would help me out a lot and please never lose your phone bye guys